Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Margarita and if you're not new, hi, hello and welcome back. And for today's video, I am going to be reviewing the ColourPop X Candyland Collection, which doesn't smell like candy, unfortunately. But the products inside of it make you want to have candy. Oh. Okay, enough of that. One more time. Smelling it, it literally smells like when you open a box of, um, like a game board box. Have you ever smelled that, babe? Like you've never opened a game, like a game before, and you're like, it smells like game. It smells it like smells game like board. cardboard. Okay, yeah. <laughs> when I did get it, I have like a little boomerang right here. Wait a second, you guys are probably gonna be seeing like the first initial clip of me opening it and seeing how it is, so. I'm just now gonna review it. So, this should probably be with the beginning and I don't wanna say, well, hello. I just want you guys to see my initial reaction to what Cameron got me for my birthday. She's in heat. You got something to say to the camera? Okay. Here is the box. And then I get this beautiful card from ColourPop. You're looking fabulous. Fun fact, I actually do collect these from ColourPop when I do receive a package. Time to take this beauty out. <laughs> smells like a shoe box. Can nice. you smell it? Can you confirm what it smells like to me? So this right here is the beautiful box. Look how beautiful it is. <gasps> no! It came damaged. <gasps> ah! Cut the camera up. Cut the camera up. Okay. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. We just have to fix it up. Okay. So far, nothing looks broken. Man, custom said, I. Right, let's see what we got in here. Man. Oh, man. They like destroyed this. I was like, I'm going to take cute pictures of this. So cute. She's cute. We cute. We're all cute. Okay. As long as nothing came in broken. That's my work. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look. We have the ColourPop collection right here and now we're gonna open it. <gasps> wow. Okay, so now we open this up right here. Yeah. Like brand new. We have the roller gloss. Um, we have some glowing lip balms. Then right here we have some super shock cheek, which is like blush. The eyeshadow palette. We have some face milk. Um, this right here is like glitter puff balls. And like you can see over here, we have like game pieces. And then I am assuming these are like the cards. I guess we lift this part up right here. And then the entire thing comes off. Ooh, this is so cute. So it's ColourPop Land, rules for playing, ages three and up for two to four players. And then right here, it just gives you how to play. This is like a childhood game. We would always run through these. <laughs> My mom probably has bought maybe about like three or four of these growing up um, because we would always lose the game pieces or if like once we wanted to play we could never find it it's so cute and it's pink this is really cute i really do like how they do detail everything so all of this is um sprinkles all right let's see i don't know what the game board looks like the color pop one. Oh, this is so cute <laughs> Look at that. When I got the box, I ended up seeing that there was like a little, not even a little, like, oh, I mean, I guess it's little. It got ripped and I was pretty upset about it. What is that? I'm insane in the brain. What is that? Oh my gosh, no way! You actually did it. I was gonna eat it too. On Facebook, I am part of this like little group. It's called ColourPop Fam where anyone can join it, you can join it, join it if you want. People talk about the collections, they post their pictures of like what makeup they use about ColourPop, and I absolutely love it. So I actually posted a picture on Facebook saying, I'm about to film, is there anything y'all want to know about the collection? Comment down below. And Vina, I hope I said your name right. She wants to know, Queen Frostine, how big is it? So this right here is the Queen Frostina. How big is it? It is 12.50 grams, which is about 0.44 ounces. 
Sylvie, Sylvie, I really hope I'm saying your name right. Sylvie asked, is it everyone who orders the collection that gets it in this packaging? And no, you don't get it in this packaging if you order something unless you get the actual like PR collection. I mean, anyone can get the PR collection. So if you do order the PR collection, you will get like this entire thing. Megan says that she wants to see the highlighter swatch. Here is Queen Frostine and it comes with like a puff ball. This is so cute and I love it. Now you can see the highlight in there, but you can't really see what it actually looks like. Oh my gosh, this smells... Um, oh my gosh, oh, it smells like straight up vanilla. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Look, I accidentally grabbed a little bit, but that is what the highlight for the powder looks like. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and, ooh, I put way too much on it, but I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch it right here. It's so pretty. So it doesn't really give me like highlight vibes. Oh, I should use my powder. It doesn't give me like highlight vibes it just kind of gives me like a shimmer but i guess we will find out once i put it on my face buckly i'm that is buckly i love this this is so wonderful this literally reminds me of the funfetti vanilla frosting that's exactly what this smells like it's very glowy i'm pretty sure i hope you can see it on my hands i'm not too sure but it is super glowy thing's gonna come and eat me all right so the next thing i want to swatch are the super shock cheeks so there are three shades there's gumdrop pass there's gummy more and then there's Jolly. So in this super shot, there is about 4.2 grams, 0.15 ounces. All right, so the first one that I am gonna be swatching is called Gumdrop Pass. They give like a sweet smell off. So this is the first shade right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch it right here. Gives me almost like raspberry vibes to it. The next shade that I'm gonna be swatching is called Jolly. This is what Jolly looks like. This blush is actually very shimmery. And the last one is called Gummy More. This is what Gummy More looks like. Well, this one didn't really show as much. Here, let me swatch it again. Let me just do it on the back of the hand. This one, like, it looks very pigmented, but it's like almost like a neutral color to it. Okay, so the next things that I'm gonna swatch are the Glow Lip Balms. And then since I'm here, I'm gonna do the rolling gloss, roller gloss. The thing I have right here in my hand is the roller gloss. So the Princess Lolly Roller Gloss, there is 6.20 grams, which is 0.22 ounces. So this is what the roller gloss looks like. Mm. Oh, it smells like lollipops. It almost, ugh, I don't wanna make it sound bad, but it almost smells like this type of medicine I used to take when I was younger. So the product swatched, it's literally just a gloss. So right here, I have three glowing lip balms that are included in the collection. I have Peppermint Frost, Mr. Mint, and Let's Chat. The glowing lip balms are 2.5 grams, which converted is 0.09 ounces. So these are the three glowing lip balms right here the packaging is super cute it's got candy canes on it and it says ColourPop land which is such a cute detail so this shade right here is called peppermint frost mr. mint and then the last shade is called let's chill first shade I'm swatching is called peppermint frost so that is what peppermint frost looks like this is a super cute shade and if you're wondering yes this does smell like peppermint the next shade is called mr. mint okay so mr. mint is like on the peachy side and then the last shade is called Let's Chill. Oh, this is such a cute color. I really like this color. I'm actually stuck in between Let's Chill and Peppermint Frost. So the next thing that I will be swatching is... Excuse you. Alright. Ow! <laughs> so the next thing that I am swatching is the Face Milk. Man, this thing came up beat up like this was beat up all right so right here i am showing you the face milk it comes with three bottles <laughs> one is coconut one is watermelon and the other one is papaya papaya why does that sound so weird papaya 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 paya oh I bet that's how they like found out how to say paya. Someone mispronounced papaya. They're like, oh, where's the papaya? And they're like, paya. And they're like, oh, okay, thank you. And so right here we have coconut, watermelon, and we have coconut. Oh wait, no, 
papaya this is papaya in these bottles there is 0.4 fluid ounces which is 34 milliliters so i've never used ColourPop's face milk pretty much like how you apply it you use two to three drops into the palm you warm between the hands and gently press into the skin and use as needed so i'm not too sure if it's supposed to be like a moisturizer or a primer Oh, it smells good. Does it smell like watermelon? I have no idea. All right, so here is watermelon. Gotta wake the papaya. <laughs> Let's see, does it smell like papaya too? I don't know why, but I get like more of melon vibes than papaya. Here's papaya. All right, now I'm shaking up the coconut. And then here is coconut. Here are face milks. We have watermelon, papaya, and coconut. So the last thing to review and swatch is just the eyeshadow palette. All right, so this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like on the outside. It's super cute. And then the unicorn pretty much just looks like this. So in this eyeshadow palette, there is only 10 shades. Man, some things really just don't change. My camera just cut out for no reason. And I already swatched a shade, but I'm gonna just re-swatch it just to show you guys what the shade looks like. But the shade that's on my finger right now is called Sugar High. And I already had my finger right there to swatch and then my camera goes click. Anyways, here is Sugar High. Super cute metallic shade. So here's the first shade. It's called Candyland. It's just like a pink and it's actually the top shade I have right here. So the next shade right here is this yellow. It is called Cravings and it does have like some fine glitter in it. Ooh, that is so pretty. The next shade right here is called King Candy. The last shade in this row is called Lord Licorice and it is a matte brown. So this would be like a really pretty like, what's the word called? Transition shade. Onto the next row. The next shade I have right here is called Grandma Nut. Grandma Nut is a matte color as well. So the last three shades that I have swatched has been matte. Ooh, we have a purple shade going on right here. The next shade is called Plumpy and this is a metallic shade. Oh, that is so beautiful. This slides on like butter. This next shade is actually really cute. It's called Rainbow Trail and it's like a pastel blue. It's all, it kind of gives me more like turquoise color to it. So this is what it looks like. Oh, that is so gorgeous. I'm kind of feeling a blue in the inner corner. The next shade right here is called Candy Crush and it's a brown shade. Maybe like an almond shade. And then the last shade is called Gloopy and it's a dark brown. Like this one does have glitter in it, like fine glitter as the other ones. Ooh, this one is so pretty. I'm not gonna lie, I think they could have done a lot more with this palette. The palette, don't get me wrong, it's really cute, but I think in my brain, it could have been like a little bit more. These are the shades from the eyeshadow palette. I need to prime my face or moisturize. I don't know, whatever this is. I am gonna be using the face milk in watermelon. Let's wake up the watermelon again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, oh wait, you're supposed to apply it to your cheek or palm and warm it up. Okay, so I'm just gonna, you know what? We're gonna see what it looks like just straight on the face. This one's going on half of it. Not a big fan of how it smells. I think I just ended up putting or rubbing in all of it into my hands. I guess my hands needed that moisture. I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera real quick and do my makeup and I will be right back. All right, I am back. I have my makeup on, you can see. I just need to put on blush highlight, lips, eyeshadow. So I'm going in with the Super Cheek Shocker and this is a Gumdrop Pass. And I'm just taking a brush from BH Cosmetics and this is brush one. This is such a really pretty blush. This is so gorgeous, oh my gosh. So you can see blush versus no blush. All right, so now I'm going in with some highlight. I'm using Queen Frostine and I'm just gonna shake a little bit out. Oh, it smells like vanilla. It smells so nice. And I'm just gonna dab into it and just, yeah, go ahead and do that and apply. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. <gasps> look at that highlight. Like, yes, we saw it earlier, but it didn't do its justice. So gorgeous. Ooh, I think I went a little overboard. Catch me in the winter looking like Edward Collins in the sun, all sparkly and glittery. This is so pretty. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna add the rest onto my shoulder. Oh, look at that puff. Edward Collins who? I'm sorry. <laughs> Sign me up to be in the next Twilight. So the next thing that I'm going in with is the eyeshadow, the Candy Castle eyeshadow. So I am gonna be using an eyeshadow base, J Cat, the nude primer. I'm gonna be using these really cute makeup brushes that my mom sent me. Thank you, mommy. All right, so I'm just gonna grab this small packing brush and I'm gonna go in the shade Sugar High. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the brow bone right here. This almost matches the highlight. So I'm gonna go in with Candyland right here. There is a little bit of fallout, that's okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and just run this into the crease. This is such a light pink. Like I know it's light pink, but I did not realize how light it was gonna be. That's the thing I don't like about swatching on the arms because you're not gonna know exactly what the payoff is gonna be like until you apply it on to the eyelid so scratch that I'm gonna go in with King Candy right here and I'm gonna go ahead and just put that on top oh yeah look at that color so I'm gonna go ahead and darken up the eyeshadow just a bit I'm taking grandma nut right here and a little bit of candy crush on the same brush and I'm gonna go ahead and tap it on the outer corner and just blend it out here oh yeah you can see the difference now when I added the color to darken it up versus the non-darkened one. <laughs> so with the same packing brush, I'm gonna go in with shade Lumpy right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this all on the eyelid. This is such a pretty purple. I'm kind of doing like a half cut crease with the shadow, except I just didn't use concealer. Okay, so I just wiped off the packing shade, and I'm gonna go in with the shade Rainbow Trail, which is like that turquoise color right here, and I'm just gonna pop it in my inner corner. Let's just see what's gonna happen. Ooh, yes, look at that. That is so pretty. And then I'm just gonna go back with the shades Grandma Nut and Candy Crush, and I'm gonna go ahead and just do my lower lash line real quick. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the white eyeliner. This is from NYX, and it's just white. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop the eyeliner gel out. I'm gonna go ahead and do a cat wing eyeliner. Using the same hacking brush, I'm just wiping it off. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this yellow shade, which is called Cravings right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on both sides, actually. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on top of the white eyeliner. I'm taking the shade Cravings, and I am just putting it all over the white eyeliner. I love how my camera battery is already gonna die. That's awesome. There's this one. So I finished up the eyeshadow. Oh my god. Minnie just tried to get on the ledge. But I finished up my eyeshadow look. I applied some eyelashes and mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and be using the shade Let's Chill for the lip balm. Ooh, wow. Oh my gosh. It's very hydrating. Last lip product, why not? I'll just put it right on top. I am using the Roller Gloss and Princess Lolly. Ooh, she's cute. Look at this combo go. Ooh, we love that glossy finish. My thoughts and opinions on this collection. I love it overall. It is so cute. I think ColourPop could have done something a little bit different, um, especially with the eyeshadow palette scheme, but you know what? That's my opinion. You might like it. I mean, I still like it, but I think it was a little too pastel -y. My favorite thing from the collection would have to be the highlight Queen Frostine. It is so beautiful. I love it. It's like really blinding, so. And then my second favorite thing would have to be the blush. And then my least favorite thing from the collection would have to be the face milk. I don't know. I'm not like a big fan of the smell. Like, Chloe, can you please stop? I'm about to kick both of you guys out. No, no. These cats just love to give me anxiety. My least favorite products from the collection would have to be the face milk. I'm not a big fan of the smell. The watermelon one smelled really nice, but like when you actually apply it on the face, it just gives it like a really weird, like almost plastic smell to it. It has a fragrance. So this is the end result of the makeup look. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!